Hello, my name is Carla Talentino and this is my professional pre-production Folio 1 elevator pitch presentation. The Brunswick Ball is an outdoor interactive projection project focused on environmental interaction, sound, and movement. This interactive prototype is one of the segments in the Playable Cities Brunswick Walking Tour. In this walking tour segment, we invite people to travel to the past around the 1950s to present era, which is also the walking tour's music-making themed section. The Brunswick Ball aims to connect members of the community with the environment through the universality of music or sound, movement, and nature. The target audience is the general public and local community, who are curious, eager to explore and discover through interactive interventions. The project prototype and playtesting is situated along Saxon Street, Brunswick Library. It is intended to be a one to five person interactive experience in a one evening installation. There are two key interactions in the Brunswick Ball. One is through the physical environment or the rocks and is used as sound and visual generating input or triggers. The second interaction would come into the form of motion tracking used to capture people's movements that is projected onto the windows. These two interactions would define the roles of the band or music makers and the dancers for movement. As the Playable City Studio Entrance Production, the fundamental production steps for the Brunswick Ball are Makey Makey Input Prototyping, Motion Capture Prototyping with Zahaj, Audio and Visual Asset Creation, Projection Mapping Tests through Resolu Marina, and connecting all of these applications, site and setup planning, play testing, and logistics planning. So what I have here is my prototype or proof of concept for the Brunswick Ball done inside my room. Uh, these are just styrofoam panels stuck to the wall and I'm going to turn off the light. And so what I have here is the Mickey Mickey, which is what I'm going to be using to hook up to the rocks in Saxon Street near the Brunswick Library to make the rocks as a form of trigger or a controller. So at the moment, they're just it's just hooked up to little aluminum foil balls. And so let's pretend that they're rocks, right? So when you touch them, when an, uh, visuals come out and music comes out. So along with this one, the ones that's projected to the window part is Sahaj's motion people tracking technology. So at the moment, this is just a placeholder video from Sahaj. And what I'm using to do this prototype is Resolume Arena, which is a VJ program. And somewhere along development, we'll be finalizing what programs we're going to use. But one of them is going to be Unity for sure. Resolium as well to integrate all the, the all of the softwares and maybe play around with um, touch designer if it helps. So this is everything. So currently these are just the assets that are placeholder. These are previous assets that I've used and created as well. And just to create this prototype, I wanted to use, uh, I wanted to see how it's gonna look like in a small scale environment. And it pretty much fits the theme. I tried to change the colors as well to sort of have a colorful color palette, maybe a bit reminiscent of the 1950s color palettes that I that I researched on. So the next steps of production is going to be sort of finalizing these assets, a lot of debugging, a lot of testing, play testing, and a lot of software tinkering, as well as the, the, the music audio as well. It's something that's also placeholder, but I'm pretty happy with what I have at the moment. And at least I can see the potential and I'm pretty excited in how this project is gonna turn out. To find more about the Brunswick Ball, attached along with this presentation is a comprehensive and development production documentation. Or visit my student page on magistudio.net to follow its development progress.